Before we create our first tracks in Cubase, it is very important that we set up different mono buses. So what does it mean? Basically, your sound card, your audio device you're using, has a certain number of inputs. It can be one, two, or, you know, 18, or uh, as many as you have. And it's very important that you set up these physical inputs on your audio device as separate mono inputs in Cubase, so that Cubase can recognize it when you create new tracks, which we will do in the upcoming video, and so that you can record separately from these. So to do that, uh, let's first check out um, let's first check out the one picture here of uh, an example of an audio interface. Here, this is a Focusrite 2i2. Again, it doesn't matter if you don't have this one. Uh, on any you're using, you probably have something like these. These are inputs. And uh, this is what we want to register in Cubase as separate mono inputs. So let's go to Studio tab. And then we should go under Audio Connections or press F4. And then when you click on it, you get this tab here. This window with Audio Connections. And we're going to focus on this one here, Inputs. Now, as you can see, uh, by default, you can see one main stereo input, which has left and right input, but they're all together in one stereo input. Now, we want to set these input 1 and 2 as different mono buses. To do that, we should go to Add Bus, and then click, you know, how many of these separate mono buses do you want to add? Since I'm using Scarlet 2i2 at the moment, I'm going to use 2, and I'm going to set Mono, and I'm going to name it as in. And let's click Add Bus. Now, Cubase creates two inputs. As I can see, they're both from my focus right. They're both mono. Now, the important thing to see here is that it automatically, it automatically puts these to one same input. Now, I want to click on the second one here and select my second input so that all of my inputs are selected. And now I have created two separate mono buses for two different inputs I have. Now, the one more thing that you could do here is if you're using several audio devices, uh, or if you don't want to you know, make this setup every time you create a new project, you can save a preset right here. So if I go to presets, I can go and click save preset, and then I can name it. So name it however you want, and then click OK. And then if I go back to the default setup, this is how it usually looks normally. And then I can just go quickly, quickly when I open audio connections, I can go and click to Scarlet and I get my setup without doing this thing again. Okay, so this is how we set mono inputs. Uh, most of the time you want to record in mono. So these are things like vocals, things like acoustic guitars. Uh, let's say if you're plugging in your uh, bass instrument directly into your sound card, this one you also want to record in mono. Uh, again, there are situations where you record vocals in stereo, guitars in stereo, but most of the time, especially when you're beginning, all of these things you are recording in mono. So this is how we do it. Now let's move on and create some new tracks.